and the pole helps you get out of situations when you're stuck, which is extremely frequently and prevents you from getting out of your bindings a lot, prevents you from spending energy hiking. It's wonderful. Okay, I got these on Amazon. Um, they're Burton um, Black Diamond um, Collapsible Poles. Hi, this is Danny. Uh, when we're in the back country on snowboards, uh, if we unbind, um, in soft snow, we're going to sink sometimes up to our waist and then we're going to have to post haul and it's going to take a lot of energy and we slow everybody up and I think that these Burton uh, Black Diamond Z poles make a big difference in allowing us to conserve our energy and not hold up the group and be able to enjoy the backcountry on snowboards and particularly my focus in this video series was on heli boarding with CMH and how I think you could benefit from these poles. I'm interviewing Jake and um, he just tried the poles for the first time. How many times have you been uh, heli? I've been out here eight times. Eight times, okay. Yeah. And um, this is the first trip you've tried the poles? First trip. Okay, and so could you tell me like what problems that they solve and how many you use and sure and what so, what what do you got to give up if as you... a snowboarder and heli skiing you're doing that country in general we spend a lot of time in traverses and flat areas that have spaces that are hard to get over without being a skier walking pushing yourself through hiking over mounds and the pole helps you get out of situations when you're stuck which is extremely frequently and prevents you from getting out of your bindings a lot prevents you from spending energy hiking it's wonderful so so you ride with the is this a podcast going at the moment yeah, this yeah. Is Danny's so we skiers do you, we don't understand this do part so I'll, I'll leave how now do you, no how do you feel about <laughs> having snowboarders with boards versus i mean with those poles without you know i believe the poles are clutch in the uh, in the flat sections, must have them. Okay, must snowboarders have. must have. Okay, yeah. all right. So as anyway. well as getting to help your friends too when they yeah. fall. Yeah, yeah. So you ride with them all the time, and it doesn't. You ride with them extended sometimes, and then collapse? sometimes. Yeah. Uh, let's see. I mean, I usually carry it around collapsed, uh -huh. expanded if I need it, and I leave it expanded for the remainder of the run. I sling it over my shoulder. Sometimes I just drag it like okay. a tail. I've probably a bad idea i'd probably end up losing it somehow but i'm still kind of new to it i'm figuring it out all right well thanks they'll actually fit inside the uh cmh backpacks so uh, cmh gives a, a guest a, a backpack and so if you want to and you don't want to carry these um i've got there there are two poles in this thing, but i'm just showing you one so if you don't want to carry these they will fit in the guest backpack. However, I have been just carrying them for quick deployment because you never know what's coming at How many you. times have you been to CMH? I don't know, 16 maybe. You got a blue suit, what's that mean? It means you got a million feet. Okay, so you've been here a lot. Yeah. So what do you think, you've used them for a few days, what do you think about the poles? When, what do you recommend? Gotta be careful about them freezing up. Put them in the drying room, disassemble yeah, at night. Really? Keep the water out of them and take them in the helicopter with you. Okay. And then, I think the recipe, it's a pain in the ass to carry two of them. One in the pack, one folded in your hand. Most of the time, one will do the trick. When you get a really deep shit, take the other one out of the pack. So front hand or back hand, or do you have a pattern? I started going front hand. So you think carrying two of these, that's just too much of a pain in the ass? pain in the ass. Okay. And so why would you want two? Why wouldn't you just have you one? you got to take a really long hike, too. I mean, yeah. When you are a hiking and okay. you are lost, so Ken, do you, you remember need two. So what, two. <laughs> so what happened with me and you yesterday? You, you got, had two you poles. Got deep shit and you, you had two, two poles, poles. And that's why you were able to keep up. <laughs> yeah, because you were busting trail for what? A couple hundred yards? Yeah, for the enjoyment, the warm-up. Yeah, and I was... <laughs> and then he called in on what? You called the guide on the radio and told him the situation. And then the guide wanted and to know where said, Danny was. Hike, and I said, hike, hike. he's with Ken. He basically saved my ass, okay? We've got um, pole deployment, right? And so there's a tube here. 
can kind of see the tube here. And so you just lay the pole out and then you uh, just pull on this tube and it causes the pole to straighten up and this little snap to, 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 to snap in place. And then you can set the length with this thing and just snap it down. And then you got yourself a pole. So you see it's got kind of a half basket, but these things end up, you know, doing pretty well in the snow. Um, they do screw off, so you got to make sure that they're screwed on tight. Um, and then you need to practice with your gloves on um, folding these things up very quickly. Now. A lot of times um, I didn't have time to fold them up after I'm finished because I gotta, you know, keep up with everybody. So I might just choose to hold both poles in my hands. Mark, what's the flaw of the uh, of the pole? You think? It ices up. So what? What's your what's your cure for that when it ices? Beating it on the edge of the snowboard. You bang it against the end of the snowboard? Yeah, just kind of bang it not too hard or you'll mess it up. So what part of it ices up? What part the of it? And the first shaft under the handle. So the, the first shaft under the handle ices up. Um, so is the button. Yeah. And so we just came across a traverse over that way. And um, we both deployed, we all three deployed our poles and it was a lot easier we would have been unstrapping um so anyway um we might be getting ready to go for a little hike because the helicopter isn't around and so we might take an unscheduled hike down the mountain and we're going to need our poles again probably so you can see here that i've um you make the poles together they they uh, kind of stick together um they're secured fairly well by the baskets uh, on each side. So then what you end up doing is you end up riding with these poles in your hand. Um, and they, 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 they stick together pretty well just with your hands. But um, what you may want to do is get one of these Velcro straps here that um, when you so, so you want them I think you want them to ski with them in your hands because uh, number one um, you want to have them easily ready to deploy uh, very quickly because you never know what's going to happen when you're going to need to deploy them and you don't I like this strap because it um, you do need to spend a little more time taking on the strap but you may want to use this strap because it's just going to be easier to hang on and if you crash, they could possibly get separated and lost, which that ha didn't happen to me. I'm pretty good about holding on to them. And then, so you just take the strap off, you know, put it in your pocket. You get it really quick, put it in your pocket, and then you can um, then you can just deploy deploy the pole easily, right?